What's up guys, it's Phoebe. I'm here tonight at Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter Resort. I know a lot of you enjoyed my Polynesian vlog, so I thought I'd do another. So we are here tonight to have dinner at one of their quick service restaurants, to have some beignets, and just do a little resort tour. So with that being said, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's go have some fun. Don't close. I'm coming in. So right when you walk in, you have the check-in desk over here. On this side to your left is where you get the beignets and then quick services over here. We are heading over to the quick service restaurant first because I am starving. I have not eaten in probably eight hours. So unlike Captain Cook's, the quick service over here at Port Orleans French Quarter is going to be almost like a cafeteria setting. So you've got a ton of different options all in one place. A lot more variety than Captain Cook's, which is nice. They've got burgers, chicken sandwiches, tons of desserts. They also have Italian food and then they have gumbo and salmon, chicken too, salads. So they have a lot of things over here. So I won't be getting it because we're getting beignets, but over here at this little booth, they have Mardi Gras king cakes too, which is really cool. They have a create your own entree. So you select your protein and then you get two sides with it. They've got chicken, salmon, and braised beef. And then they've got things like mashed potatoes, carrots, green beans, rice, vegetable slaw. So honestly, that's really cool. I'm trying to look at the price. The prices depend on the protein you pick. They're anywhere from basically 14 to $17. But over here in the far corner, they have the gumbo and the jambalaya served with rice. I think I have to go with one of those. Thank you so much. We'll try that too. Have a great night. All right, I found a table in the back corner. It's actually pretty busy considering it's 9 p.m. Maybe people are getting back from the parks and then wanting something to eat. But here's what I got. This is the gumbo. It is $10.99. Honestly, this is a pretty big portion size for $10. The rice is included in that price. The cornbread is separate, so, but I had to get two of them because I love cornbread. And my friend Nick is with me tonight. We were talking with one of the servers and she said one of her favorite things here is actually the mac and cheese with the braised beef on top. So he went ahead and got that. And honestly, this does look really good. Let's see how this is. Honestly, that's really good. It has a lot of good flavor to it. We both wish it had a little more sauce though, but the mac is probably my favorite part. I kind of just assumed it was gonna be the kids mac, which is still good, but in a different way, but it's a completely different mac, and so the base is really nice. I would get that again. All right, let's try this gumbo too. All right, it's a really solid gumbo. Um, it's kind of just normal standard. It has a little bit of a kick to it, as it should. Cornbread's nice with it. So honestly, for $10, this is a huge portion though. I definitely will be taking this home and eating it for breakfast tomorrow. So once again, this quick service restaurant is very different than the Polynesian. However, it does have a lot more variety to it, which is a nice thing, and a lot of food for the price you pay. So honestly, that's all really nice. Now we are heading back to Scat Cat Club. They actually have some beignets in honor of Mardi Gras that I have not tried and I want to try. So let's head over back towards the front. the beignets and then you park yourself off to the side and wait for them now my friend Kristen did try these and she was a little disappointed in them but that was a few weeks ago and things could have changed since then so I'm excited to give these a try for the first time have a nice day all right whoa all right here they are First glance, not as impressive as the cover photo. The sugar is just kind of not sticking to the beignets. However, the colors are really cute. And one of Kristen's complaints was that there were not enough bananas in the Bananas Foster sauce. I definitely have a lot more bananas than just one, so that definitely is better. Let's just go ahead and try them and see how they are. Oh, also, the beignets are honey glazed. So it's honey glazed 
they've got crunchy sugar on them and then the bananas foster sauce let's just Science. All right, let's discuss. So first off, the sugar on top is completely unnecessary. I think it's cute in hindsight, but it just, it doesn't do anything. And it doesn't really even stick to the beignets very well to begin with. I think the beignets should have just been coated in powdered sugar as normal. The bananas foster sauce, it is good. And I did have a lot of bananas in mine. However, it tastes just more like a caramel sauce with slices of bananas in it. I would have preferred it to taste a little more like a bananas foster sauce. And so in my opinion, if I were to do these beignets, I would have done regular beignets tossed in powdered sugar, served with Ohana's bananas foster bread pudding sauce. I think that would have been chef's kiss. No crunchy sugar on top. And if you want the like Mardi Gras colors, do that through like sprinkles or just like douse the top in colored sprinkles. Don't try to get them to gel to the beignet, if that makes sense. So like, these are not the worst thing I've ever had though. They're honestly good, but not my favorite. Nothing will ever come close to the Haunted Mansion cookies and cream beignets though. Rest in peace, I miss them. What's really cool about Quarter Lean's French Quarter too is they have a jazz club and sometimes they have live bands that come in and play. It sounds like there's one here tonight too, so I wanted to show you guys in here really quick. Okay, I've never been in here before. This is really cool. Unfortunately, the band is on break, so, but anytime they have bands, they're right up here, and then they even have a dance floor. This is great, and they have table service, so you can come in here, get a drink, order some food. It looks like they even have a private seating area out here. Oh, it's actually outside, too. That's so cool. All right, now that we have done that, let's do a little bit of walking around. Now, they do have a really nice, um, merchandise store here which is right across from front desk and where you check in so right off the bat we have some lounge flies now i'm not i don't own any lounge flies so i don't know if these are new or not they've got a mini one right here oh another mini one <laughs> they've got a lot of stitch merch here this one's really cute i know it's not new i see this around a lot Honestly, this is the stuff right here that I love to see. Just classic Mickey Mouse. Um, Mickey is just my favorite. And so I, I don't think you could have enough classic Mickey t-shirts. These are really nice. They're really soft too. And I always love looking at the new hats. So like here's another Mickey one. I actually have the same one in yellow. Uh, <laughs> no kidding. All right. I actually have the same one in white. And so I really love it. I love the full body Mickeys on hats. I'm not as much of a fan of just like the faces. They also have a Port Orleans Resort hat. This is pretty snazzy. I actually really dig the color on this too. I think that's nice. Beignet all day. You know the people who like go to Hobby Lobbies and things and read all of the inspirational quotes? We don't hide the crazy. We parade it down the street. So just your standard merchandise shop. Um, oh, this is really cool. They have Cafe Du Monde beignet mix here. Wow. So I guess not your standard merchandise shop. They also have Cafe Du Monde coffee. Now I've been to Cafe Du Monde before and it's, it's legit. I mean, the beignets are incredible. But yeah, I think it's really cool that they offer these things here too. Now these are actually so cute. You've got the beignet ears. What does it say? They're scented? <gasps> no way. I don't know if I want to smell them. That's a little weird. I'm scared. They almost smell like... Um... That's so interesting. They smell like bread. You know what it smells like? It smells like the school bread that you get in Norway at Epcot. That's exactly what it smells like. All right, now that we've looked at everything they have to offer there, Look at how pretty it is out here. So this is kind of like the back. So that's the front main lobby area. 
And then they've got this lovely area. That is where we ate at the quick service restaurants. What I love about Port Orleans is it's a lot smaller than some of the other resorts. So like, let's look at this directory right here. So this up here is Riverside. And as you can see, it is very big. There is a lot to it. And down here, this is the map of French Quarter. And I think this is another reason why I love it so much. It's so much smaller. Like we're right here. And to get from point A to point B, it's what, maybe a five minute walk. And so it's very condensed. It's easy to get to the bus, even if you're at, I've stayed at building seven and I've stayed at building three. And both of them were equally as enjoyable. They've also got like fun life-size activities out here. Playground, pool is right back there. I just love the atmosphere of this resort. It also feels incredibly nice outside tonight. Another reason why I just love Disney so much, their theming. They really put thought and effort and detail into everything they do. It's not just a roller coaster, it's they're going to completely immerse you into a story as you ride the roller coaster. It's not just stay at a hotel and go to the parks and the parks are where there's theming. All of the resorts have so many unique things to offer and so that's why I think it's so great staying on property. You feel like you're immersed in the story the entirety of your stay. So yes, I love the Polynesian. But Port Orleans French Quarter 2 is a moderate resort, so you're also saving money if you stay here. It's definitely more budget friendly compared to the Polynesian. There are unique perks to staying at both of them. I don't think you could go wrong with either of those resorts though. I haven't played checkers in forever. I'll go first. Going right there. Solid. Hmm. Man, our little update for you is Nick has no idea what he's doing and he is not winning. Yeah, there we go. I'm jumping you. Uh huh. Again? Just like that. Gotta call security on you. It's getting heated. You got high stakes. I got four kings on the board. You got three. Nick, I'm sorry. This guy is jumping you, and he's jumping that one too. What? This is, when are we doing double jumps? Double jumps is a rule in checkers. We have never done double jumps up to Have you point. never played checkers? I mean, it's one of those games that like in the school, like it, it always- You've never up. been able to double jump me up until this point. Who said? Double jumping is a rule. Since when? Since the beginning of checkers. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you reached the conclusion that it's over for you yet? There's nowhere for you to go. But just to make it final. Take your make your move. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. All right. It's been fun. Has it? Not really. No. <laughs> and that's the game, everyone. Proud of yourself. All right. All right, you guys. I think that is gonna be all for tonight. With that being said, I think I am headed home and going to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next vlogs. And I will see you guys next time.